Hello, hello everybody, baby. This is Sister's Intuition coming to you on this Valentine's Day, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope everybody's doing well, doing great, having a happy Valentine's Day. I've been uh, joking on the other videos. I said, yeah, happy Valentine's Day to me, baby, because I'm single as a prank and I'm liking it and loving it, baby. <laughs> Anyhow, everything you need to know about me, baby, is down in the description box below. If anybody would like to inquire about getting a personal reading or donate to the channel, that is in the description box below. Please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, baby, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. Each and every one of you, God bless you on your journey. All right, every uh, um, yeah, you can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. My big old live there each and every day. If you would like to catch me live, okay. Um, you can also follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. I go live there from time to time, and also have uh, videos that I'm posting there. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I can't talk now. Whew. Somebody's just able, maybe that you're dealing with, is not uh, knowing how to get their fucking words out. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to be doing Sagittarius, okay? So, if you have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, they could be messages in this for you. However, baby, these are general messages. They are not going to resonate with each and every Sagittarius. So, take what fits, leave the rest of it for another Sag that it belongs to, okay? So, here we go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the message for Sagittarius? Well, that flew out what we got. So, we got the 11th house, okay? We have, uh, for humanity's sake, so you might need to go uh, help do something for the environment, right? Or you could be doing something that helps mankind. Um, your hopes and dreams and wishes, you're going after those. Or you could be sitting around thinking about them, but it's time to get up and start making it happen, okay? And do it for the future. You do this for your future, right? All right, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, shit, that is way too many cards. I'll take that one. All right, the sixth house. Okay, so um, you could be doing a lot of shit as a full-time job, okay? Uh, you could be severing ties with people with some endings, okay? And do it a little at a time. So it's time to uh, slow and steady wins the race type shit, okay? Just do a little bit at a time. What you can do, don't overwhelm yourself by trying to do everything at one time. It'll be there tomorrow, I promise you, okay? So take a rest, okay? All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's get one more. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. One more, please, Spirit. Sagittarius, right there. Got two. We'll take it. All right, we got Scorpio. You can be dealing with a Scorpio. That's the death card, okay? Purification and resurrect. So um, it's time to purify your energy. It's time to pray and, it, and resurrect. There could be some shit coming up. Um, dig, dirt digging or maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's some secrets that could be coming out. And uh, this is uh, from resulting from the power of somebody. So there's some secrets coming out, okay? Um, then we have Saturn. So this is about the maturity that brings. So there's a lot of shit that's going to be happening that's going to bring some maturity, okay? Caution regarding. So there's some caution that you are being minded to have caution at this point in time with people, places, and things, okay? And limits imposed. Uh, you're imposing limits upon yourself, and I think it's self-limiting uh, imposed. So quit trying to self-limit yourself. Uh, it's time to know that you can, okay? Then we have the seventh house. Okay, this is in your partnerships, friendships, business matters, right? It's time to get balance in those. Cooperation, uh, everybody being up on board and being on the same team in order to get shit done, and your partners. So this is dealing with your partners. Friendship partners, love partners, take it as it resonates. I thought, well, since it's Valentine's Day, we're going to use Romance Angels and the Lover's Oracle. Okay, so we're going to use Romance Angels first. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have attraction. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So no matter what's going on in your life right now, it's time to get out and enjoy yourself. And you're going to attract love into your life by doing that. There's some uh, healing some family issues. 
So there's some family issues that needs to be worked out. And it says your uh, love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you could have some uh, uh, trauma from childhood, from parents of uh, maybe abandonment issues, um, being loved, you know, trauma, abandonment, um, phobias, fears, you know, heal, heal that shit. Um, just do the shadow work, okay? And then your relationships and friendships and romantic are going to get better, okay? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self, your bond deepens, you can begin to know somebody new, okay? All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon. Well, all these cars today is looking to jump off. All right, we see what we got on the bottom. All right, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart. Not in your mind, for your heart is the gateway to your soul. So, what is it that you want? What is it you want? And like I said, it was down in your heart because the heart is what you hold near and dear to you, deep down in the center of you. Okay? So, what you know, you need to be really thinking about that. But when you do making decisions on what it is you want, make it out of your heart, deep center of love, right? Then we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So, you know, um, this is healing a relationship, you know, and the spirits around you trying to lift you up because the light's there. So I, I look at that as spirit. Uh, so knowing it's being healed, right? And it says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. So just sit back and imagine if you had everything gone that you thought was just not right right now, what kind of position would you be in? Right? And it says, only time will tell. So, only time will tell. <laughs> so, it's time to sit back and, and wait and see what, what uh, shit brings to you. You know, what life, you know, circumstances bring to you. All right. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're using the Kipper now. We got the false person already jumped out. So, we have the false person. You have a false person you are dealing with or was dealing with. Clarify this false person, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mm, there's a message of concern. It could be coming from a house or about a house. Okay. Tell me, okay, why is the false person house a message of concern here? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, house, message of concern, false person. Okay, somebody could be traveling to you to your house. This could be somebody that you ended something with because there's a 10 on this card. Okay, so somebody, this false person, could be sending you a message. And they could be wanting to take and travel to your house. Okay? There we are. Um, yeah. Okay. Tell me about this um, message of concern. What's the me message of concern? What is the message of concern? Sagittarius. Ooh, that's too many. Okay. Way too many. Okay. Somebody's into, somebody sees your hard work, toil and labor. This could be somebody that you work with in the past. Somebody just seeing the work that you're putting in. Somebody's in despair. Somebody could be sad right now because somebody's going into poverty they could be losing some shit here being in despair uh and yeah they're very concerned right now yeah buddy let's see hang on okay okay oh that's way too many okay in the distant horizons this is happening here pretty soon okay we have the coffin so this could be somebody that you ended something with or this could be a physical death if it is my condolences you know loss is never easy but this person you could have a child with there's two men here i've got a main male there's a main male that you could have a child with and then there's a wealthy man here somebody's concerned here because they see that you're hitting sudden wealth and their ass is going into poverty and they're in despair. So, yeah. So, this false person could be coming to you. They could be sending you a message saying they're in despair. And they're doing this because they see that uh, you're doing better than they are. That's the way I'm kind of looking at it. All right. Let's see where we're going with this. All right. Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, the moons. The moons in reverse. It could be done with a sign of cancer. Uh, somebody's going through some uh, challenges, some burdens, okay, some struggles right now, a heavy load. But the the moon is in reverse, which means there's uh, whatever was hidden is not hidden anymore. There could have been something that was hidden. Now it's not, and now it's a struggle, a challenge, because it's been revealed, okay? Somebody could be making uh, decisions based off of... Um, 
making mistakes, making mistakes because you're making decisions based off of your emotions. You know, you could be struggling on how do you go forward right now, right? How do you pull through this? How do you get the willpower and the motivation to overcome this challenge and this burden? You know, the spirit is sitting, telling you that you need to take a break and sit back and heal. Take a rest, a pause, okay? This could be around a family, ten of cups, okay? This could be around a family, a home. You know, that was this is something that you hold near and dear to you, some kind of excitement, happiness. Uh, you wanted some kind of peace, but, you know, there's something that that was hidden it's not hidden anymore and now it is there's a lot of emotional shit going on here okay why is this uh moon in reverse for sagittarius sun moon rising venus clarify this knight of cups so somebody's want to come in and uh maybe bring a proposal um come in with romance or come in uh wanting to work with you in whatever creative endeavor that you have okay this is not a pinnacle this is very slow moving energy but it's uh somebody's very thorough uh somebody's realistic you can have children with this person okay because i do see kid on this card um mm, clarify this ten of cups sagittarius sun moon rising venus the tower Ooh. This is divine intervention, time in reverse. You cannot stop this. This is very swift movement. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody invested their time and their energy, and they didn't get the result that they wanted because they made a bad fucking investment. Okay? Clarify this tower in reverse for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Queen of Cups. Just to be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is somebody that... Um, that's very loving, very nurturing, very stable, okay? But there's something that's fell apart here. Three of Cups is here. There could be some kind of celebration, some type of reunion, uh, getting back together, reuniting. Uh, but the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. Huh. Let's see where we're going with this. What is the Ten of... Uh, what's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. King of Cups in the reverse. Somebody invested their time and energy and with a King of Cups in reverse. Somebody was emotionally immature. Somebody that was, uh, somebody that would fuck with your emotions and lie to you, fuck with your head, keep you confused, wanted to keep you powerless. Okay? Yeah. But uh, doing that was a bad fucking investment. Okay? Uh, that was a bad investment. You could have invested your time on somebody that's very manipulative. Um, yeah. To clarify this King of Cups in the reverse for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Yeah, the balance card. Sagittarius, you're coming out. Yeah, this person could have had options here. Seven of Cups, we got three cards. Oh, okay, okay. So we have the Queen of Wands. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands. This is being on a higher vibration. This is exerting yourself, speaking your mind, leaving a situation. This is you being very vibrant and being very sure about yourself and relying on yourself. The Temperance card, you're starting to get balance and peace back into your life. So maybe we want to come back in and reconcile this King of Cups in the reverse. But this person has options. They have choices. Okay? They could be moving towards you slowly. Okay? Slowly but surely. Uh-huh. Mmm. There's two queens here. I just noticed it. Yeah, there's two queens. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody went towards a Queen of Cups and made a bad fucking investment. Um, let me see. Clarify the Queen of Cups, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let me see if it's the same person or just two people or what. Oh, yeah, somebody's having some obstacles. Boy. Okay, hang on. We'll see what all we got here. Hmm, Okay. On the bottom, we have the Five of Pentacles. So somebody's got some bad luck. They've been feeling the black and their finances and luck in general. I don't know. Um, somebody, the devil, somebody's getting rid of the temptation and the bondage. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, getting rid of the fucking snake. Could be dealing with a Libra, justice in the reverse. Somebody done somebody wrong here. What they done was not white. Right, I can't speak. Four wands in reverse. There's no excitement, no stability in this situation. There's too many queens in this. Okay, so that was shit was hidden. It come out. Somebody released somebody. They got rid of their ass. Okay, now they started to work on their abundance. Nine of Pentacles. You know, somebody's exiting out of this shit, saying, "No, you know what? I'm not an option." And now somebody's, um, 
you know, somebody could have closed out this cycle, you know, and get balanced back in their life and the wheel is in reverse. Somebody's getting some bad karma here. And somebody's closing out a cycle and having a beautiful new beginning and they're working on their self. They're doing all this shit by their self. They're relying on their self. They're getting disciplined and they're working towards their nine of pentacles. And then somebody's getting bad luck of having hard times with their finances and everything else. We're dealing with a fucking uh, Pisces, the high priest. Somebody pay attention to their intuition. Somebody being a fucking magician, manifesting stability. Queen of uh, Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, there's way too many people here. Okay, but uh, you, somebody was listening to your intuition. It could have been you. You was paying attention to your intuition. No, this person had choices. They had options, okay? You got out of this situation. You started working towards your abundance, your stability, okay? Being disciplined, working towards your stability, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. You're very social. You're very big-hearted, very nurturing, very grounded, uh, down-to-earth. This may have had you in a competition, that's a period. It could be a, a, a baby mama here, uh, empress. Uh, yeah. But uh, somebody was planning and working against you. Okay. Well, the world. Somebody's got a new beginning here, though. Somebody done somebody wrong. They had them in a third-party situation, and they know that they was they made a bad investment. So you know you made a bad investment with this person because you know, you know now that this person wasn't stable, and you know that you invested quite a bit of time with this person, and that... Uh, all you had was struggles and challenges and burdens. So you released this person, okay? Whatever was hidden ain't hidden no more. This person had choices. So now somebody's getting some karma here, okay? You reap what you sow. You breadcrumb and you get breadcrumbed, okay? What you, what goes up must come down, okay? What is the advice for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? So let's we'll see. Okay, it's time to heal. Okay, Spirit is saying, Gemini can be dealing with Gemini. It's time to disconnect from a lover. Even though you love and care about somebody, it's time to get rid of them because there is no stability with this person. You've done with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, there's there's no stability with this person. They're not stable. You know, it's time for you to take a break and heal. You could have took a break and healed. You, you know, uh, took a pause. You could be meditating, getting centered. You are healing. But you are making choices and decisions. You're realizing that people are stalemates and you're trying to avoid people. You're trying to get balance back into your life. Uh, you could be getting some kind of ex unexpected money because you are to have enough strength and courage and inner strength and stand in your power to make an investment towards something for the long term that's going to give you results. Okay? So yeah, that's the advice there. So it's time to get rid of somebody and heal. Man, work towards it your damn self, baby. Let's see. Let's get some tea leaf. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. 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 Okay. On the bottom, we have the hand. So you could need a helping hand and need a help, uh, assistance, um, and guidance. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Oh, damn. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I'm going to stop. There's way too many. All right. Mountain. Uh, major change. Uh, major. Um, Major challenge to overcome. So there's a mountain here, a major challenge to overcome. You could need the assistance of somebody, a helping hand, uh, some kind of wisdom, some kind of guidance from somebody. Let me get all this shit up and uh, we will roll with it, okay? Let's see. Make sure I got all of it. Flew everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to read them all. Let's see. Cause we, there's a lot of Sagittarius. So, like I said, what I'm about to say, take what resonates, leave out the rest. All right, we have the box. You're about to receive a gift. Somebody could be giving you a gift, okay? Cup. You should accept valid criticism. So, sorry, somebody's trying to ring my phone. Anyhow, you should accept valid criticism, okay? Somebody could be telling you some criticism and, it's, and you need to listen to it. Coins. You could be getting some coins coming in. Money uh, will be coming to you, okay? April. April could be significant to you. Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. July could be significant. Dog. Protection from a powerful friend. So you got a watchdog, baby. You got a, a dog going to eat somebody's ass up. They watching, okay? Bow. You are highly thought of, okay? Eagle. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. That's great. So whatever obstacles you have, you're going to be getting over them. Diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift here. You could be getting a diamond today, baby. It's Valentine's Day. Okay? Table. Hard work ahead, okay? We have B, victory in an endeavor. So there's going to be a victory in some endeavor that you are doing. Moon, changes in your life. Okay, the moon, so this could be with the moon cycles. This could be just in your emotions. Um, yeah, there's changes coming into your life. Not, 
So there's unsuccessful plans. November could be significant. Quill, quill. Get back to the basics. It's time to get back to the basics of stuff, not to overwhelm yourself or get ahead of yourself. You know, just do what you know to do best, right? You know, just leave it at that, right? Butterfly. A change for the better. So a butterfly is something, a caterpillar, so you're growing into a butterfly and you're going out into the world. And it's a change for you to, for the better. Feather. Someone you know is un, undependable and uh, unreliable. Heart. Love, deep affection, and uh, caring. So you could have a big heart, okay? Grapes. Time to get out and have fun, okay? Man. Dealings or relationship with a man. Crack cup. Dissatisfaction. Dissatisf dissatisf <laughs> dissatisfied with life. A broken cup. So there's areas in your life that you're not satisfied with, okay? Flag. Do not be tempted to tower your standards. So maybe you need to say, I surrender and not uh, get ahead of yourself and do too much. Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Dogs. Getting together with friends. August could be significant. Carriage. A major journey, either physical or mental. Okay? Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. It's slow, but it's coming in. Slowly but surely. Tortoise could be Taurus. Could be Leo because we had the August card. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. So somebody could be tooting their fucking flute a little bit too much and you disappointed in them, right? September could be significant. Okay. Dolphin. Financial gain. Usually coming from something you did in the past. So the dolphin's here. So something that you've been working on since the past is be bringing in some kind of money. Torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So the torch has been lit. The torch, shit. The torch has been lit. So you're being enlightened, right? And sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. The sun is rising, baby. Amen on that. All right, let's see. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. 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 Okay, somebody could be going to jail or, or in and out of jail, okay? Somebody's over in their head. They're overthinking, uh, overanalyzing, very stressed out. Uh, you could be dealing with an idol or you could be an idol. Somebody's being respected, loved, admired, idolized a fan. Uh, you could be somebody that's uh, on social media, you know, or just a fan, a musician, uh, whatever, you know, could be... Uh, very high up, you know, in the spotlight of some kind. Somebody's a grudge holder. Somebody's holding a fucking grudge. These fake people, your fake fast friends, people around you that uh, this is coming in smiling. And they, they fake ass people, okay? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, we got some family issues going on. Okay, so they got some issues going on within the family. Somebody's trying to get the end scoop on you. Uh, uh, somebody's trying to get a closer look up into your business. Yeah, looking you up. Exactly. They're looking you up and looking you up hard. Researching you, studying, getting info. Somebody's coming in chasing, trying to give you a love offer. Somebody's got love on the brain, but they got some nostalgia going on. Um, yeah, uh, somebody could be wanting to reunite. Um, somebody's daydreaming. You could get. You could have gave this money, the person money. Okay, but it's you cock blocking and you blocking this motherfucker out. You don't want to deal with him and you keep shining and it irritates this motherfucker's demons. Okay, let's get some angel answers. We're gonna wrap this up. Okay, all right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 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 Spirit. All right, we have within the next few months on the bottom, we have a fucking no. And the perfect time. So it's the perfect time to do something here. There is a waiting period. It's not going to happen overnight. There's a waiting period. But Spirit is assuring you that the situation will improve. Okay? So there's a waiting period. They're not saying no, but they're not saying they're saying this not yet. But they're letting you know that your situation will improve. All right, everybody. Like I said, happy Valentine's Day. I hope everybody has a good one. Hope everybody enjoys this message. Uh, if for, whatever, for whatever reason, if it doesn't resonate, like I said, it is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave out the rest, leave it for another Sagittarius, okay? 
Please do not forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Anybody would like to get a personal reading or donate to the channel, all that information is in the description box below. Follow me on Facebook, Shelly Evans. I go live each and every day, baby. And follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. I send you peace, light, and love. Until next time, baby, peace out.